Hey game devs, Dan here with You Contribute Games and in this video we're going to be looking at how we handle damage over time and heal over time in Unity. Using coroutines we can adjust the current health value by a set amount over a specified time frame. When a function is called, it's going to run to completion before ending. This ultimately means that every action within a function is going to have to happen within a single frame iteration. You know, a function call cannot contain a sequence of events that should happen over time because all functionality in that function is going to happen within a single frame. A coroutine, on the other hand, is similar to a function, but has the ability to pause, allowing it to rest and allow the remainder of the frame to happen before the coroutine continues. It can then continue where it left off on the following frame. You can also delay the next iteration of a coroutine using the function wait for seconds, which is going to pause for a specified amount of time rather than just waiting until the next frame. So, if we set the wait for seconds at the end of a while loop inside of a coroutine, we're going to pause right at the end of that loop before it does another conditional check to see if it should go back through that loop. Um, so when we come back into our coroutine, we're going to pick right back up and start that while loop over again if we still meet uh, the conditions for that loop, right? So using this, we can construct a coroutine that accepts a total change amount and a time frame we should change that amount over, right? We can then identify how much to change every second and adjust our health every iteration through the while loop, pausing one second between each loop, All right? That's the logic that we're applying here in order to handle a heal over time and a damage over time functionality. This is actually broken out over two functions and two coroutines to handle the heal over time and the damage over time uh, totally, right? So both of which are going to have a function that allows them to be initiated from either within this script or externally from another script because these are public functions. All right. Within these initiation functions, it's going to use the start coroutine to call that coroutine and, and initialize that for it the first time it runs. OK, so we're going to walk through the damage over time function and see how that works. So when we call damage over time, we're going to provide it a damage amount and a damage time, both of which are integer values and we're going to start the damage over time coroutine and provide those values that were passed into damage over time into that coroutine, okay? So the coroutine will initialize and the first thing it's going to do is set up an amount damaged and set that to zero. This is our starting point so that we know when to stop because our amount damaged uh, is equal to that damage amount that we wanted to totally to totally adjust by, right? We will then adjust or set up a damage per loop value, which is going to be equal to the damage amount we're providing divided by the duration. So example, easy example, let's say you want to damage the character by 10 over 5 seconds. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. Our damage per loop is going to be two. All right. We then start our while loop, which is going to say while the amount damaged, which we've set to zero, is less than the damage amount, which in this example we passed in 10, you want to take the current health and subtract the damage per loop value from the current health. We also want to um, set the amount damaged equal to the amount damage plus the damage per loop value, okay? So now we have reduced our current health by two, and we've also added to that amount damaged two. We're now going to return or wait for seconds value of one second. 
which is going to let the, the game continue on as it normally would. One second later, it's going to pick up right there at the end of our while loop. So it then starts that while loop over checking that condition. Our amount damaged at that point is 2, and 2 is less than the damage amount of 10. So it's going to go back through that loop, adding to the current or subtracting from the current health and adding to the amount damaged. It's going to continue that uh, loop until the amount damaged is equal to or greater than the damage amount, at which point it's going to fall out of that while loop and ultimately then fall out of our coroutine, right? So that's how that works. That's it. And for the, the heal over time functionality, it works in the same manner. We have a heal over time uh, function that takes a heal amount and a duration to be healed by, and then it starts the heal over time coroutine, which is going to work in exactly the same manner with the difference of, you know, we want to be adding to our health instead of subtracting from it. So we say current health um, plus equal heal per loop. So the current health equals the current health plus heal per loop. Um, outside of that, that functionality for both of these is going to be the same. For everybody who's following along and typing this up as we go, I'm going to go ahead and put this up on screen so that you have an opportunity to type this into your own health manager. But if you would like a copy of this script in its entirety, the entire health manager demo asset pack, including uh, the scene, the art, the buttons, again, this script in its entirety, go ahead and click the link right here. Click down in the description. That's going to take you over to youcontributegames.com where you can download that by simply signing up for our newsletter, which is going to let you know when awesome new content like this comes out. So go ahead and click the link right here and get your own copy today. But you don't have to. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And head over to YouContributeGames.com for even more awesome content. But most importantly, leave us a comment. Send us an email to YCG at YouContributeGames.com. Love to hear from you. See you in the next video.